One year after the launch of Damascus Road's public meetings, they held a picnic in the park. There was much to reminisce about, much to rejoice over, and the belief that there is even more to look forward to. What will happen from here? As they say, only God knows. The summer began with joy and relaxation. The church continued meeting in the stay okay, but also made time to enjoy life outside of Sundays, keeping in mind that church is all about the people, not about the day, place, or time. And there were many reasons to celebrate with several weddings. But fall was approaching with families and students coming back to Maastricht. Damascus Road took the plunge and moved from one meeting room to two just to fit the increasing number of people. Damascus Road again put a priority on getting its name out to the new students through Income Week, making sure that those who were grounded in their faith found a new spiritual home away from home, and that those who were searching for God found a place where they could ask questions and encounter God. Another fall retreat to Monchau gave students and young adults the chance to connect with each other and with their Creator. But students were not the only priority, and Damascus Road looked for ways to reach out to the community. Men's breakfasts and women's fellowships gave relaxed atmospheres for people to invite friends and develop as the individuals God created us to be. In October, Damascus Road invited Belgian-based singer Gael Lorette to headline a gospel brunch at Den Hemel with the neighborhood invited. The venue was full of people, the smells of Cajun cooking, and the sounds of smooth music full of truth. Temperatures dropped as winter crept in, but the warmth that the church held continued and welcomed more in. The holidays gave a great chance to celebrate what Christ accomplished in the cross as expressed in a second annual communion dinner at the office. But they also celebrated his faithfulness in their lives throughout the year, being family for each other through Christmas and New Year. Damascus Road made sure to share the joyful season with the city by putting a simple holiday message in a local paper. The change in the calendar brought a change in the church staff, with more to help Kent and Leslie Linaway. Steve Kramer, along with his wife Julie and their rambunctious son Case, moved to Maastricht in late 2011 to support the church, especially focusing on university ministry and building a base for other student missionaries. The early days of 2012 saw that base grow with five bright-eyed recruits, Austin and Amy Mangum, JT and Nikki Billings, and Lauren Byerly. Together, the new team of Damascus Road University Ministry set out to impact the schools. They launched Drum Night, a midweek meeting at Den Hemel tailored to the younger crowd and intention to reach those who typically travel or go home on weekends. Damascus Road also started two discipleship groups. One, a month-long New Believers course to build a foundation for those that were coming to faith. And, a study on the letters of Paul to go more in-depth into the Bible. Damascus Road Studies and the University Ministry met with good returns quickly, and by March they held their second baptism ceremony, commemorating the new life God had brought into those who chose to unite themselves with Christ. A fitting analogy as the earth came into bloom with the season of springtime. Spring also meant the celebration of Easter. Instead of other big activities, Damascus Road put its attention to spurring the members to invite their family, friends, and neighbors. And Easter morning, the result was a marked growth over the year before. 130 adults and children attending the meeting to hear Christ proclaimed as the alive and reigning King. The church's audience was growing indeed. But Damascus Road would not sit back as though a successful Easter was a stopping point. The church knew it could not let children fall through the cracks, so fellow missionaries put on a three-day kids club later that month, replete with puppets and skits, snacks and crafts. Children from the community giggled and gawked and played, and heard the word of God. Also in April, Drum held its first breakaway, building community among the students in the fledgling ministry. Lots of relaxation, lots of fun, but most importantly lots of time to draw closer and as one body. The community continued and grew through birthdays, girls gatherings, and the eventual inception of small groups. The church was living in its mission in love and unity with each other. More people became Christians and Damascus Road started another New Believers course. The church prepared to send out its first short-term missionaries who would be going to Kenya. They took offerings and held a fundraiser for the project, full of African food, music, poetry, and dance. In June, they held Church Out of the Box, 
meeting in homes on Sunday morning, emphasizing the more interpersonal family feel of church. Year two for Damascus Road continued the same spirit of growth and trying new things that permeated its first year. The church seeks to follow God's spirit wherever he will lead. Many people come in and go out, living, working, and studying in Maastricht for a short time, but connecting as part of the family before they return to their homelands or launch out on something new. The church adapts with many hellos and many goodbyes, rejoicing in whatever moments get to be shared on this side of eternity. Jesus said that his disciples were the light of the world, and Damascus Road looks with hopeful expectation toward another year of shining in Maastricht in the world.